Hello everybody, once on an episode of Mixed Mars. In today's episode, we're going to take a little look at the Ransom Mark Wrist for next step, which will be tidying up the cogs where I had the bolts welded to them, trying to separate the back blade from the um, cylinder itself, um, and then just a general general catch up of where we are. Um, the lawnmower itself is in good condition now. Um, it's all been painted with, with red oxide primer, all been sanded back and what have it, it looks good. Um, it's all now drying, all the rest of it's out on the washing line. Don't tell Mrs. P, she do a nut. It's all outside on the washing line out there, hanging just outside the door. Um, we have a nice big washing line, so I can use this end of it as a drying facility, which is fantastic. So uh, that shouldn't take too long to dry out in this weather. It's nice, nice and breezy, so it should, should be fine. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty, and let's check out this Ransom Marquis and the cogs that need to be tidied up. Right, so the first job I need to do is with my um, cutting grinder is put this small cog, which is the blade cog, into the vise. And I just need to cut these two bolts off. Um, once they've been cut off, I can then grind it back with a flappy disc to where it needs to be and just tidy this area up. Now this cog itself, there is a little tiny bend in it, just here where we had a heat injection. And I'm hoping just to, with, with some files, just to pull that back. Um, I've got a heat gun and I'm hoping just to manipulate it back into shape. It shouldn't be no biggie. Um, so let me just get this cut off first and then I'll come back once I've done that. Right, that's, that's the bolts now cut off on both cogs. So now I'm just going to start to uh, to flappy disc um, this cog back clean again. Get rid of all the slag off of this. I've got my safety gloves on and my goggles. I've got some earplugs in too. So we're just going to now just going to run this back, clean this up best we can, and then we'll see what sort of damage there is to it. Right, that's now both cogs now cleaned up. This one's still very, very hot, so I'm gonna let that cool down. And we're gonna try and have a little heat on this one and just try and bend just that little curvature back up. And uh, that should be fine. It's just a little tiny, about two teeth, wanna be bent back up. So let me um, let this one cool down, put this one in a vise, we'll start to inject some heat into it and see if we can't just bend that back where it needs to be. Right, so I've got to clean these teeth up first. So first of all, I've got, I've got a chainsaw file because it's nice and rounded and all we're going to do is just going to start to incorporate that new that new running face edge back into here don't want to take too much material off all i'm taking off is just the slag that came off of the uh, off the weld so just going to tidy it back up and when you get a clean file all the way across you know when to stop it doesn't need a lot of work we're not looking at butchering these teeth any more than what we need to be There, it's a bit of slag there. That tooth is a bit is a bit muller to be fair. We'll take the rough edges off it, it should be fine. Problem with the old MIG welder, they are, they are a bit of a dirty welder. That's what the bloke told me, they, you know, they, they do splatter quite a bit. That should be fine. 
Right, next one I want to do is inject some heat into this. And my idea is I'm going to get a pair of um, uh, duster balls or something. Once I've got it nice and warm, I'm going to try get a bigger set than this, obviously. I'm going to try and put this onto here and just leave that over. But I don't want to do it over teeth. I want to do it so it's just on the cog itself. So something like that and just, just try and leave that over best I can. I'm only going to be heating this section um, of a cog, not this section, so that side shouldn't shouldn't uh, shouldn't move. So let me get some heat onto it. I'll come back once it's a bit warmer. It'll take a little while to heat it up. And then I'll get a decent pair of uh, adjustables just to try and prise that back over. Well, that should be hot enough. Let's try and push this over. It is going. <coughs> that one there, what's a bit? And that one there, what's coming back? Here as well, once just nicking back down. All I'm doing is just moving my teeth. I know I've got no gloves on, but I want to have proper contact with the uh, adjustable whilst I'm doing this. And I think we're about there. That looks good to me. Right, I'm going to let that cool off. Um, I'm not going to put it in water, nothing like that. Um, let it cool off naturally. And uh, that looks that looks pretty square to me. I'm quite happy with that. So um, let it cool off and I'll come back. Okay, so that's now the cog. It's still a little bit warm, um, now done. Let me get a bit of tissue. It isn't hot, hot. It's just, just about bearable. And now the cog is pretty much symmetrical. That, that too fair could do just with picking up. But uh, these are pretty much uh, handmade cogs anyway, so I don't think it's life or death, but it's better than what it was. Uh, number two, um, the cylinder. I've got to get the cylinder now sorted and the back blade off. I just found a company just two minutes up the road uh, from me that will sharpen it um, for £25, not including the, the back blade, I don't think so. I think I ran about £30, £40 pound to get this, this um, cylinder completely reground. So let's look over the bench and try and get this back blade off of the cylinder. Right, so here is the um, cylinder and the back blade. Um, as you can see, these are countersunk flathead screws in here. They're big ones too. Um, all I'm doing is use a bit of um, so hot soapy water <coughs> and um, anti-grease stuff, you know, and just trying to clean these screw heads up best I can. Oh, he comes riding, boy. Yeah, hang on, mate. Um, screw these heads up, clean these heads up best I can. And then once that's done, you can come and say hello to YouTube. Hi. Come on in. Um, once I've had a bit of a clean up, I'm then gonna. Um, Daddy. Yes, buddy. Do you do that? Yeah, don't touch it. That's all wet. Don't go touching it. it. Yeah, well, come to YouTube first. Oh, hi. There he is. There's, there's the old main man. I Hang on a minute. Let's do this first. Okay, um, so a bit of a clean up before I do anything. So let me have a, a bit of a wire brush, a bit of a scrub, a bit of a clean, and then we'll try and get some of these out. Now I don't have an impact. Um, that is uh, an impact gun. What I could do is try and find an impact screw and put it on my impact driver uh, on my Dewalt. That, that may be something I could do. So give us 5.10, I'll come back once we're a bit cleaner up. Right, so the first thing we're gonna do, I've got this one cleaned right up. They're, they're all pretty good. Um, I've just used a bolster chisel, a very small one, just to put that into there, just to try and shock, shock the bolt a bit. And then what we're going to try and do is um, we're going to heat, heat this right up, get it nice red hot, and then we're going to try and undo, undo his bolt. So let me get it nice and hot first, and I'll come back once that's done. Okay, so that's now got that nice and warm. 
So what we're going to try and do now is put this screwdriver in. We'll try and turn it by hand first. It ain't going to happen. So we'll try and impact it. Cool. That's well on there. This is what the process is going to be. It's got to come off. Just got to take your time and a uh, bit more heat, keep applying it and eventually they will come out, he says. Okay, so we are winning very slowly. Um, I just went down to my local hardware shop and bought a, uh, a manual uh, impact um, because nothing I had here was man enough to shift that. Um, unfortunately, this is a silver line one and oh, that's crap. Uh, don't waste your money. Um, I've done three, uh, but the bit is mullered, and the small one I've already I've already butchered it already. So don't go buying a silver line one. Spend a bit of money. Uh, this is the only one they had in the shop. Uh, I have now just ordered another one off of um, Amazonian, which is a better make. Spent a bit more money. This is only seven quid. You could buy two of these, and it'd probably do it, but uh, really struggling otherwise. So you've got to use that. Heat this up cherry red, as hot as you can get it, and then give it an impact. And then if it doesn't move, heat it up again, cherry red. And then I spray WD-40 straight into it um, to quench it. And they are starting to move. I've got these three done. They're loose. I'm now going to work up the other side of the, um, the bar. But we're getting there. On top of that, I've done a little bit of spraying. Um, hanging out on the old Mrs. P's washing line is the pull cord um, assembly and the tank. That's um, had its first coat of green. I've got down here um the outside cover that's had its first coat of green as well inside and out and just down yonder let me try and get you around without bashing too much stuff i've done the bell housing which is there uh, that one and then the um the counterweight as well that's now done as well um so i'm slowly just working through it because i'm waiting on bits and pieces um it's no easy fix i've just got to sort of take my time and do bits where i can so uh, i'll continue um oh. I'll continue, let me do a bit there. I'll continue to do this best I can. I'll try and get them off, but uh, it's a very slow process. Uh, lots of elbow grease, lots of whacking, lots of swearing. So uh, those will be edited out. And I've uh, got these three to do, but I may have to wait till tomorrow until I get the other impact. Okay, so success. Despite the fact I have bought another one, I'm not going to cancel. I'm not going to cancel it. I'll keep it because this bit on this one here is absolutely mullered. Absolutely done. It's a bit warm actually. Um, twisted, and like anything. So that's no good. I couldn't really find where to just buy just the bits for that, but uh, I've got a new one coming, which is of much better quality. And as you can see, I've now got all. I don't want to drop these because that, that, that's red hot. All, uh, all six of these are now um, loose. So now what I'm going to do is um, remove this back blade once it's cooled down a smidge. Remove the back blade. There's a high possibility I might have a new back blade, uh, but they can't grind it with the back blade on, so it had to come off. Um, 
back blade to come off, put the screws in the pot out of the way, and then I'm going to paint this um, this uh, cartridge or, or um, cylinder up um, because when they sharpen it, I want to be able, be able to see the, ni the nice clean edge. It'd be a bit of a pickle to, to sort of paint once it's been ground. Otherwise, you, uh, you won't see that, that nice fine edge that you, everyone likes to see. So back blade off, lick of paint, and I'll come back when I've done that. Okay, and here we are so far. Um, it's all had its um, first couple of coats. All looking rather good, I think. Just got to um, give the uh, cylinder another another coat. That's only had one. Um, I might even give it another green yet all over. We should wait and see, but this will be uh, allowed to set overnight um, before the temperature drops too much. And uh, have a look at tomorrow. I've got the other exhaust coming for it. Um, hopefully that'll be here tomorrow. But apart from that, it's looking... Uh, it's looking rather good. I'm uh, I'm quite impressed. Okay, so that's the Ransom Marquis now, well on the road to recovery. Um, super happy. Today we've done all the greening, uh, uh, sorry, last of the priming, all the greening. Might give it another cut of coats maybe tomorrow, we'll see how we get on. It's all hung up over the shed at the moment. It's like a big wing chime in here. I've got to do a cylinder, um, another coat, maybe another two coats with a clear hammerite. Um, and that's then gonna be booked in next week for uh, for grinding. I've got a suspicion I'm going to need a new back blade. The, new, the back blade is a bit bent, but we'll see what, what the man says. Um, I've got the exhaust coming in, the original. Uh, that should be here any day, so that'll be sprayed up ready. So all that stuff can be, can be sort of put together whilst the cylinder is off for spraying, uh, off for grinding. I don't want to put anything together for the next couple of days. I want this paint to really harden off and really go off really well. It is an enamel paint, so I shouldn't need to be um, lacquered. But I want to see what it looks like after two or three days before I go any further because if it does need lacquer, I'm going to cover the whole lot in a, like a petrol resistant lacquer. Um, but all in all, super happy. Um, for those of you that um, are looking to do your own um, one of these, um, there are two tools I would highly recommend having. Um, one is, is the gas torch, a decent one. One of those, definitely, 100%. And number two is the impact manual hand driver, get, and get a good one. Without those, you're not going to get them back blade, them, them back blade bolts off. It ain't coming off. They are tough. That took me about 45 minutes alone. So make sure you got them. If this is your first time watching Mixed Mars, hit the subscribe button, whack the old bell, and set your notifications to all. That way you'll be told when I've done a video or two on my Saturday night weekly live stream, which starts at 6 p.m. at UK time. Um, apart, apart from that, or any comments you got, stick them down below in the comment section. I'll try and answer all the comments that I get, and give us a big thumbs up on your way in, on your way out, if you like this video. More videos to come on the Ransom Marquis, and I do have another um, Ransom here and a Suffolk Super Punch as well, so we'll be getting on with them at some point, but let's get this one up and running first. I look forward to the next episode very, very shortly, but until people, don't forget, more importantly, take it easy.